and welcome to your today's one shot revision session of first chapter matter in our surroundings so if in case you have missed any part of the chapter today we are quickly going to revise this chapter and the target would to complete it within half an hour okay so that you can get a quick revision of the chapter so let's get started and if in case you are new on the channel then make sure that you subscribe to it hit the like button of the video okay and which will be ma'am let's get started let's rock and roll in the session one shot revision session let's get started now but before proceeding further there is some very important information i would like to give to all my kitaians now what is that that is about vidantu pro classes yes the batches for the new academic year 23 is open now okay and you can see the prices on your screen i will tell you i would advise you personally that you go and purchase vidantu's ai live subscription for one year that is for rupees 9000 yes this is for one year okay so how many subjects are covered here six subjects are covered we would be completing the entire science physics chemistry biology maths master teachers would be there social studies and english so these six subjects vidantu will be making you prepare for your entire class 9 your basics would be very much stronger plus all the live session doubts would be catered during the sessions only we would be having the class teacher sitting with you along with the master teacher okay so you would be seeing your class teachers live they will be taking your live doubts plus the session notes would be shared with you the handwritten material given by the teacher the class notes would be shared with you you would be getting the all india test series yes i'm not wrong so it means you would be competing with lot of students sitting at the same time with so many students so just understand you are getting your rank detail analysis everything you will get to know and this all is for one year one time fee just you are paying rupees 9000 for one year okay and not just that you would be getting yes study material assignments notes you would be getting mid term revision sessions end term revision sessions apart from that you would be getting yes test series regularly okay you would be getting crash courses free of course so you are getting micro courses free of course so many things you are getting and uspe bhi i have an offer to make and what is that the one year course fee is 9000 rupees but because you are going to attend shilpi ma'am's entire session so shilpi ma'am is having a coupon code for you that is s k a pro shilpi kaushik army pro and if you apply that then it gets you rupees 900 off and the price comes down to rupees 8100 for entire one year course of your class 9 where we are covering the six subjects so every penny is worth it okay and trust us when you will be improving so much then you'll it it will make you so proud in your parents also class 10th may when you will go all your basics would be kept plus you are getting vip with that vidantu's improvement promise which says that if you attend the sessions regularly if you appear in our test you solve the assignments and you are a regular student and by the end of the year if you don't see any improvement in your marks vidantu would be returning your fees back so it's like guarantee ke sath you will be studying so these are the payment options so please check that out and you have to grab your seat okay guys that's very important and i'm sure that it's very much clear to you also so again displaying should be ma'am's coupon code for extra 10% off go and grab it and now let's discuss matter in our surroundings so when we say matter what exactly are we intending here so what is matter any stuff present around you okay you can say everything in this universe that is made up of material now how do we define it we can say anything that occupies some space 
okay any stuff present around you that is occupying some space it is having some mass and its presence you can feel with any of your five sense organs you would be defining it as what matter okay for example we are having books you have beer milk coke so all these things are occupying some space they have some volume okay and they are also having some mass you can feel their presence with any of your five senses they would be matter and we know that matter is made up of what particles so if you take any matter you keep on dividing it into small 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 particles you would see that a stage will reach where these particles cannot be divided further and these particles were later on named as what atoms okay and you know the early philosophers though on the old times when people didn't know much about matter then philosophers used to say that all the matter is made up of panch tatva tatva here means elements okay so everything present around us is made up of five elements we have fire earth air water and sky okay and what do we call them now we say every matter like you know this theory used to believe that every matter has presence of these five elements in that so talking about the physical nature ma'am was saying that matter is made up of particles and there are spaces between these particles plus the size of these particles is very very small it's in nanometer ranges isn't it where 1 nanometer is equal to 10 raised to power minus 9 meters so that's so 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 tiny okay we can say that particles in matter are always in the state of motion yes or no so we know particles are always moving and you have an example let's say your friend has used perfume you can get the smell of perfume from some distance why what is the reason because perfume particles are getting intermixed with the air particles why why this intermixing is happening because particles are constantly moving isn't it and the fragrance you can see is reaching near to you so what is happening you can see yes particles of matter have some motion in them for example the particles of this pen are also moving but because it is a solid they are not moving freely but they are still vibrating about their mean position so this is true matter always the particles have some motion yeah this is a different thing that some particles of matter in some matter these uh, you can say the motion is very high like in gases the speed is very fast okay so in some of the matter like solids this motion is very restricted it's not that much free but yeah there would be motion and if temperature is increased the motion of these particles increases you know that kinetic energy directly depends on temperature so if we are increasing the temperature that means we are giving heat energy to the particles particles would be moving much faster the kinetic energy is going to increase okay so yes they are in motion and because they are in motion Uh, we say that diffusion also takes place what is diffusion what we discussed just before this the perfume example where the particles of matter are intermixing on their own right that is diffusion like you are cooking your food the smell reaches everywhere why because food particles intermix with the air particles and move here and there so this intermixing of particles of different matter on their own is known as diffusion like you are adding ink into water then ink will intermix into water after some time you will see a clear solution why because particle of ink are going to intermix with the particles of water and you will see that diffusion is taking okay the final one particles of matter are attracted towards each other by some forces of attractions now you can see this you have an iron ball if you try to break it it's not that easy it will get flattened but it will it will not break isn't it you take a piece of chalk 
you can break it easily but still you have to apply some force if shilpi ma'am wants to break this pen i can't do it easily i have to apply some force if i want to tear the sheet of paper apart i still i can do it but i need to apply some force so the point is that every matter the particles of every matter are attracted towards each other so whenever you try to break matter those attractive forces try to resist you okay so it's like you are trying to break it but what will happen the particles of matter are so much attracted towards each other that yeah you have to apply some force these are three major points that you will remember the first is particles of matter have spaces between them now how can you see that particles of matter have spaces between them ye bhi kar sakte ho space ke liye you can simply see you take a glass of water okay and in this glass of water you dissolve let's say 2 g of sugar and you mix it well after some time you will see that sugar disappear where is that sugar disappearing sugar goes and occupies the spaces present between the water molecules and you will see that level of water also does not rise level remains same why because particles of water have spaces and sugar particles have occupied those spaces okay the same way you can see a sea diver can dive easily in water why because particles of water have spaces between them the second point they are constantly moving the smell of perfume the smell of hot food incense stick can be taken as an example isn't it so everywhere these all examples are telling you particles are moving and because they are moving they can diffuse also and this movement depends on temperature because temperature is directly proportional to kinetic energy if temperature increases kinetic energy increases the diffusion would be also fast isn't it so rate of diffusion increases with temperature right and the next is attractions yes particles are attracted towards each other we can also differentiate these states of matter like first one we have solids solids may you know the particle of solid are held by very tight forces of attractions okay so into particle forces of attractions are very strong and spaces are very very less the particle forces of attractions very strong but the spaces between the particles are less okay so you can see they are very tightly packed with each other as a result of which solids have a fixed shape and they are having a fixed volume as well so they are like everything is fixed this pen will always have the same shape and it will occupy the same space always because it's a solid now because particles are already so close to each other so are they are negligibly compressible okay so even if you try to compress the solids they will break because they are already at the minimum closeness okay so compressibility is simply when you are applying pressure on something then the reduction in volume that is compressibility but they are already so close you know then we have density yes density is mass per unit volume mass per unit volume okay let's say volume we are keeping fixed okay like if you take two containers of 2 liter volume volume we are keeping fixed but if in one container you are going to fill solid in another you fill a gas solid me you can see their density would be much higher why because solids me we can see the number of particles would be more because particles are tightly held with each other so number of particles are going to be more because of which mass of the solids would be more keeping volume constant so density will be highest for the solids because it's directly proportional to mass okay but gases may we know particles are far apart from each other so there would be less number of particles in this container 
the mass would be less so density would also be less so generally solids have the maximum density and gases have the least density liquids are like you know still in the intermediate range then we have liquids liquids have a fixed volume but the shape is not fixed like water occupies the shape of container but if you have 2 liter of water if you transfer it to any empty container it stays 2 liter volume isn't it and yes they don't have highest compressibility we will say the compressibility is more than solids more than solids but less than gases so you can say they are also not very much compressible why because particles have some spaces between them but not as many spaces as the gases right the density is again intermediate of those of solid and the gases then comes the gases gases may particles are you know far apart from each other so they are like we don't have a fixed shape we don't have a fixed volume so into particle forces of attractions are negligible in the gases forces negligible and spaces are maximum because there are so many spaces they are highly compressible okay so if you apply pressure there would be a lot of reduction in the volume and density is least fine apart from this we have plasma in the plasma you are having ionized gases and we have bose einstein condensate the fifth state of matter where you can simply say bose einstein may we have to take a gas of extremely low density and we reduce its temperature we are going to bring it down to a very 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 low temperature where it becomes like super saturated okay so it will uh, you know like fluids may aapne dekha hoga super fluids are very good example of that so semiconductors may whatever is the current you are passing there would be no resistance so plasma may particles have very high kinetic energy they are the ionized gases the kinetic energy is very very high sun and stars are very famous example of plasma then you have neon sign bulbs your tube lights and bose einstein condensate exist at a very very low temperature very very low temperature where the particle motion ceases completely right so we have done these uh, five states of matter okay so difference ma'am has told you between solids liquid and gases practice it down okay the next is into conversion of state of matter is it possible to into convert the state of matter yes how can we do that first is using temperature yes and the second is using pressure okay so i'll be just telling you the effect of temperature for interconverting the state of matter you can do this with an experiment you have to take a beaker and in the beaker take some ice cubes okay so these are the shape of ice cubes and we are heating it okay we are heating these ice cubes ma'am's drawing is not very good otherwise i would have drawn a tripod here मैम ने कुछ और ही बना दिया ओके सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड शुल्दी मैम डोंट ड्रॉ एनीथिंग सो वी आर हीटिंग दिस स्पीकर एंड आई हैव केप्ट अ थर्मोमीटर इनसाइड इट टू मेजर द टेंपरेचर एंड अ स्टरर स्टरर आल्सो यू कैन डिप ताकि यू कैन स्टर दिस मिक्सचर ओके सो आई हैव टेकन द आइस क्यूब्स सो व्हेन यू स्टार्ट हीटिंग द आइस क्यूब्स लेट्स से आइस क्यूब्स आर एट अ टेंपरेचर ऑफ -5 डिग्री सेल्सियस okay and when you start heating the ice so what will happen from minus 5 degree celsius to 0 degree celsius temperature is going to increase you are heating it so what is happening the kinetic energy of the solid increases ice is a solid isn't it so these are the particles very tightly held with each other so when you increase the temperature kinetic energy increases so solids will start vibrating faster okay but as soon as temperature reaches 0 degree celsius you will see the temperature becomes constant the moment temperature reaches 0 degree celsius 
थर्मोमीटर में देर इज नो राइज इन टेम्परेचर बट यू आर स्टिल गिविंग द हीट एनर्जी सो टेल मी इन द चैट वेर इज दैट हीट एनर्जी गोइंग वॉट एवर इज द हीट दैट यू आर गिविंग एट जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस ऑल दैट हीट एनर्जी is absorbed by the solid ice isn't it the heat energy that we are giving at 0 degree celsius that is absorbed by ice why ice absorbs it because ice is now like you know we want to break our forces of attraction so ice is a solid so at 0 degree celsius the molecules of ice have enough kinetic energy that they can break their forces of attraction they overcome their force of attraction and finally become a liquid so at 0 degree celsius where is the heat energy going why the temperature becomes constant at 0 degree celsius because all the heat is used to convert the state of matter okay all the heat is absorbed by ice to convert itself into water that is melting is going to take place at 0 degree celsius yes so we can see into conversion hua hai state mein using temperature using that heat and you know temperature will not increase unless whole of the ice is converted to water once all the ice is converted to water then temperature again starts increasing till 100 degree celsius theek hai agar aap dekhoge from 0 to 100 degree celsius temperature again increases okay we would be having a liquid state here so kinetic energy of liquids is going to increase but as soon as temperature reaches 100 degree celsius again it becomes constant 100 pe bhi again the temperature becomes constant because all the heat is used to convert liquid into vapors yahi hoga at 100 degree celsius whatever is the heat energy that you are giving that is absorbed by the liquid particles to convert themselves into the gases Okay, so that means we would be saying boiling is going to happen at hundred degree Celsius, or vaporization. Okay, so this is known as boiling point of water also. But again, we are talking about one atmospheric pressure. Pressure also impacts it, isn't it? So this is how we can say that yes, into conversion is possible. Whatever we have discussed, that is written here. okay on increasing temperature kinetic energy of particles increases so particles are going to vibrate at higher speed but finally energy supplied by heat helps to overcome the force of attraction and change their state so all that heat energy that is used to convert the state of matter we define it as latent heat okay latent heat means the hidden heat so we can say latent heat is that heat energy that is used to convert the state of matter at a constant temperature at its atmospheric pressure okay so you can define latent heat of fusion that comes that is absorbed as 0 degree celsius for the melting similarly latent heat of vaporization that is absorbed at 100 degree celsius for liquid to vapor conversion give me the definition in the comment section okay and you can define melting point so that temperature at which solid melts to become a liquid but make sure you define the pressure okay at atmospheric pressure we are saying and that is 0 degree celsius at 1 atm for ice and this also you should know how can you convert the temperature given in degree celsius into kelvin you have to add 273.15 this will give you the temperature in the kelvin okay easy peasy similarly boiling point define kar sakte ho your homework is to write what is freezing point and condensation point freezing point and condensation point kya hota hai make sure that you do this okay 
चलिए द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट मैम वॉज डिस्कसिंग इज अज्ञान द डायरेक्ट कन्वर्जन इज इट पॉसिबल मैम दैट सॉलिड कैन बी डायरेक्टली कन्वर्टेड टू वेपर्स यस what is this change defined as we call it as sublimation okay yes we call it what we are going to call it sublimation conversion of solid to vapors so a direct change of state from solid to gas without changing into liquid is sublimation and you know this also requires heat energy so there are some solids for example i would say naphthalene you have seen isn't it we are having camphor we are having ammonium chloride we are having iodine yes we are having anthracene so these are some of the solids if you heat them or even if you keep them at room temperature they will be absorbing heat from the surroundings and directly convert themselves into the gases okay so this is what we define as the sublimation and the reverse of it again it also requires energy and if you cool down these vapors they will again give you the solid back okay so the conversion of gas to solid back is known as deposition okay this would be deposition okay remember so these you would have seen naphthalene solid disappears after some time why it is converted to vapors okay and it's like i will sublime the next is the pressure how can pressure help us to convert the state of matter a very important point over here you need to understand yes pressure can do the same is it possible ma'am solid liquid gas or the other way round conversions can happen using pressure yes how can we do that okay so ma'am is just simply going to take an example over here i would make you understand about this like we are having a gas okay so you are having a gas you know what happens in the gases i will be using this space gases may we know particles are far apart from each other particles are like what is an attraction we don't know we don't do that here so if you want to convert a gas to a liquid so you know gas to a liquid gases may particles are far away from each other their kinetic energy is very high if you want to convert them to a liquid that means you want to bring the particles close to each other you want them to develop some forces of attractions gas to a liquid means the kinetic energy of particle should reduce the forces of attraction among the particles should increase so how can we bring about this change if you increase the pressure yes if you increase the pressure on the gases what will happen the particles will be forced to come close to each other that is what compression means reduction in volume on applying pressure so when you start applying pressure on the gases they will start coming close to each other okay but compression always increases some you know kinetic energy of particles so we have to make sure that we decrease the temperature at the same time also so what will happen gases pe you are applying pressure they will come close to each other at the same time if you decrease the temperature what will happen on decreasing the temperature kinetic energy of gas particles will decrease they will become slow and come close to each other the forces of attractions will develop and finally we will be getting a liquid so how do we liquefy a gas by increasing pressure and decreasing temperature high pressure low temperature we will be getting the liquefied gases okay and if you want to reverse the change liquid ko wapas gas mein karna hai you can do the opposite increase temperature decrease the pressure lpg gas cylinders mein we are doing the same gases are liquefied why because transportation becomes easier 
gases require large volume to be stored in but if you liquefy them they can be fitted in small cylinders also isn't it and there is also one very good example there are some gases like co2 gas if you increase a lot of pressure on it it will directly solidify and give you dry ice dry ice so this is what सॉलिड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड जो आप काफी यूज करते हो इन योर फंक्शन पार्टीज सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट दैट फॉगी फॉगी काइंड ऑफ अपियरेंस यू टेक ड्राई आइस यू डिक्रीज द प्रेशर ऑन इट एंड यू गेट अ गैस बैक सो यू कैन सी दैट स्मोकी अपियरेंस okay so yes pressure can help us to convert the state of matter and these are reversible again if you decrease the pressure on dry ice you would be getting the gaseous form back again right so yes pressure can help us to convert the state of matter so these are some of the interconversions that we have discussed now there is one other form of interconversion that can take place at normal temperature yes it is possible that state of matter can change without changing temperature pressure externally okay so it is happening at all the temperature at all temperature below the boiling point of the liquid we have evaporation as an example i would be just showing you there is a glass of water on your screen so these are the particles of surface layer then the next layer and so on these are some of the layers that the ma'am is showing okay but what happens if you think that all these particles would be having same kinetic energy then you are wrong the particles of the liquid which are present on the top layer which are present on the surface layer they are in direct contact with the environment isn't it they are in con direct contact with the surroundings so what is going to happen these particles of the surface will be absorbing the energy from the surroundings and they will always have higher kinetic energy yahi hota hai particles on the surface of the liquid are in direct contact with the surroundings isn't it so they are at a higher temperature they have high kinetic energy so point will come where their kinetic energy is enough to overcome the force of attraction they would be like i don't want to be a liquid anymore i will break myself and become a vapor okay so this liquid by absorbing heat from surroundings and the rest of the particles of liquid finally becomes a vapor this conversion is nothing but evaporation and it happens at all the temperature but the surface particles are evaporating so we say evaporation is a surface phenomena and don't get it confused with boiling beta boiling is also conversion of liquid to vapor but it happens at a particular temperature isn't it it will happen at 100 degree celsius at one atmospheric pressure water will not boil below that no matter how hot it is outside if you take a glass of water you keep it in open it will never boil itself okay so boiling is actually a bulk phenomena okay you are giving heat externally you are heating from outside and every particle has equal kinetic energy every particle has a fair chance that it can convert itself into vapors so evaporation is a phenomena which happens with the surface particles at all the temperature below boiling point of the liquid because boiling point for all particles will have same kinetic energy they all have a chance of going into the vapor state okay so this is how your clothes are getting dried up this is how the water that is the rain water is getting evaporated isn't it so these are some factors which affect evaporation temperature so temperature is directly proportional to evaporation why because if temperature is high more and more particles will have sufficient energy to convert into vapors directly ठीक है तो बहुत जल्दी इवेपोरेशन होगा इसीलिए ऑन द सनी डे क्लोथ्स आर गोइंग टू ड्राई फास्ट 
clothes dry faster on a sunny day why because the temperature is very high water particles will have the enough kinetic energy jaldi jaldi they will evaporate surface area is directly proportional to evaporation again if surface area is high then what will happen more particles will be on the surface more particles will get enough kinetic energy and convert into the vapor isliye whenever you dry your clothes you always spread the clothes in sunlight why do you spread out the clothes taki what the surface area can increase and water can evaporate quickly okay the next is your humidity now this is very important humidity is inversely proportional to evaporation what is humidity humidity is simply amount of water vapors in the air okay how many water vapors are present in the air that is humidity and air has a limit okay air is like i am having limit as how many water vapors i can hold on one day it's like dude i have got a limit okay so whenever the humidity is high that means air is already holding a lot of water vapors okay and in that case evaporation would be automatically slow because evaporation mein kya ho raha hai all your liquid is converted to vapor and these vapors are going in the air only but if air is already having lot of water vapors then it's like no i cannot hold it fine then we are having the wind speed so you have to tell me what will be the case with the wind speed come on anyone in the chat box what is going to happen if the wind speed is higher think about it if wind is high it will be taking away water vapors with it yes or no in the chat everybody yes ma'am we do agree with you yes or no okay ma'am is not to be visible i guess yeah ha huh. so tell me guys if you can see over here if the yeah we were talking about the wind speed if wind speed is already high then what will happen wind will take away water vapors with it hai na and that means air will become from free from water vapors maan lo yahan par wind speed is very high so if wind speed is high it will take away these water vapors with it and air would be becoming free from water vapors so that means more water vapors can go into the air and evaporation would be faster okay so these are some of the factors and application of evaporation is that it causes cooling why evaporation causes cooling beta because whenever evaporation is happening whenever liquid is evaporating it always needs some heat energy it will take away some heat energy with it hai na so for example i'll make you understand with an example let's say you are having a hand i'm sorry my drawing is very bad <laughs> should be ma'am ne kitni ka hath banaya this is not my <laughs> my hand for sure so uh, you can see whenever you are putting hand sanitizer on your hand so when you put that liquid there you rub it you feel cool isn't it and liquid evaporates what is happening that liquid it is having ethanol in it okay alcohol in it and that alcohol is highly volatile volatile means a compound that can easily convert into vapors any substance which can easily convert to vapors that is volatile okay so this ethanol liquid it will absorb the heat energy from your hand when you keep sanitizer on your hand it absorbs the heat from your hand uses that heat energy and converts itself into the vapors okay so because your body has lost some heat content so it could be feeling thanda thanda cool cool the same thing happens when your body sweat whenever that sweat is evaporating it takes away heat energy from your body from your skin because your body has lost some heat content you become thanda thanda cool cool 
your body okay similarly there are like lot of examples we wear cotton clothes in summer again cotton is a good absorber of water so it will absorb your sweat and expose it for evaporation now when the sweat is evaporated again the heat is taken from the body and you feel very cool cool right so make sure that you tell me one answer of this homework question that is the earthen pot why water stays cool in the earthen pot why water is cool k double o l okay why water is cool in the earthen pot you have to tell me how it is working and if you've attended the entire session let me tell you we do have a quiz for you and you will get the link in the description box below do attempt it this is shilpi ma'am's coupon code and you can avail 10% off on vidantu courses 900 off ho jayenge with this coupon code grab your seat for one entire academic year this is shilpi ma'am's instagram i am kitayan you can connect with me there okay make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel i will see you next time with a new chapter okay see ya bye bye